Um, today we will be making a fox leather pom pom. We will need a circling inside of your pom pom. I will make it into a keychain. I will be using also tulipan and needle to sew the circles. And I will be using for stuffing uh, this uh, needle felting wool that is in some very odd color that I don't usually use in my projects. So here I have a heat erasable pen and we will draw our circle. Now we will start cutting. So we have uh, draw our circle with a fox fur. You must be careful that you you can just cut around. You need to be careful because we have long furry hairs, and we need to go. You need to separate them. When we are cutting them, so I'm very, very gently cutting around and separating as I go. We go, we gently pull this away, and you can see that we have a lot of furry, furry hairs. Now we will be turning it around. So I have inserted, I have cut my tulip thread because it is a little stronger than my sewing yarn and I am just making a knot and now I will be making short stitches approximately 5 millimeters or 1 centimeter apart
just take your time and go around slowly. So here it is, we have prepared our inside, but, uh, we need to put our filling inside, this. Uh, so for this, here we go, I have decided to needle thread a small ball from the wool that is in some odd color that I don't usually use for my projects so be making a needle thread ball we will just put a few layers here are my needle thread needles we will try to make as hard ball as we can because then we need to needle felt less and that's a very good tip that I have learned I didn't know that when I started a little bit turning it around and we are slowly working uh, some people use uh, also other stuffing some don't even needle felt but they just put the uh, stuffing inside and then they close it off but I found that my uh, pom-poms better hold shape if I put inside a hard stuffing to make a better shape we can roll it in our hands a little more we will now try goes inside I think that this one is I will needle felt it a little more so it will be more more stiff because now it is very soft as you can see and then I will be back to show you how to close it off and here we are back I will I have needle felt it so it is smaller and stiffer so I am putting my filling inside, I will now make a mold and start to close it off. This is a little more fiddly and tricky part. So I will be just making a knot. And now I will close this off with the rest of my thread. You just sew and be careful. You want to have this beautiful hole outside. And I, I sew with my thread in zigzag motion. And because I want to turn this into a keychain, just 
has to be patient and take your time. I will be also taking my keychain and I will be sewing it on. Hold it as firmly as you can. Go like this. And then make sure that you go through, as you can see, also through the ring several times so it will not fall off when you have it on your keys or as a decoration on your favorite parts. As you can see, it has closed very well. I am very happy with the result, so I will be making one more knot here. I used white thread so that it will be hidden. Now we cut off the, the threads and here it is. Our beautiful and here it is. Our beautiful pom-pom will be done. Uh, you can turn this pom pom into a keychain and put it on your further purse, like I did here. Or you can sew on a button, like it is here, and you can change different columns on your head. Uh, there are two options. You can sew a button here on the pom pom, or we could sew a button here and put the uh, thread around the button and finish it off like that. So there are several pot possibilities that you can use uh, for the pom pom. 